Okay, so that is the uh, last as far as our public hearings and all go, and I think it's been a great night. Uh, manager's report. Welcome back, by the way. Thank you, thank you. I would like to uh, thank everyone who uh, supported me in my absence. Thank you, Nikina. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Commission and staff. Thank you. Um, we're actually picking up a lot of steam. There's, there's, there's so many projects that are going to be coming down. And um, one of the projects that will be coming is uh, phase two of the zoning code update. We have a draft version of it, and we've been working on that diligently. And um, we'll have that for you, if not by the end of the year, but by the beginning of next year. So we're working on that. And along with that is going to come some updates to phase one of the Carson Municipal Code. Now that we've had a chance to experience it and staff has been working with it, we, we see some of the tweaks that we'll present to you to see if it's appropriate to amend some portions of uh, that code. So uh, along with some development projects, so you know, if we're busy, that means you're gonna be busy too. So get ready. Uh, I am complete. I don't know how to follow that. You may have to sit you on another honeymoon. That's what you mean. And nevertheless, thank you. Thank you for that information. Uh, now, Commissioner's oral communication starting to my right. Commissioner Monteclaro. Thank you. So I'm very uh, encouraged that uh, we have this, <laughs> our city is growing. Yes. And, uh, you know, that's very um, amazing and uh, awesome. Um, but I still dream that uh, later we'll have Costco in Carson. <laughs> okay, I'm complete. Is that what you have to dream about? <laughs> Is Costco really? <laughs> so I don't have to drive to, <laughs> to, 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 to tolerance. You, you get to thumbs up from I, me. I'm trying I to. Couldn't, I me. couldn't resist. Okay, <laughs> Commissioner Johnson. Thank you. Um, happy to be here. I'm grateful for the opportunity to serve and contribute. I actually left my son's soccer game halfway through to come here. Ooh. But um, he, he understands. He understands the importance, and I try to convey it to him that what we're doing is important, and I, I wouldn't miss it for anything else. I'm awesome. Complete. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Wilson. Yeah. Um, I just want to thank everyone here from our – colleagues to you know our staff everyone is just really amazing our commission meetings run very smoothly um, they're very efficient and I really appreciate my colleagues on this commission who are very diligent um, with respect to each of these um, projects that come before us and so thank you so much you know I think it's really important to have a commission that really looks at the projects as they come forward and really what happens is we address some of the issues that the residents have. Yeah. So, you know, thank you, everyone, for all of your work and your diligence. So thank you. And thank you for that, because I think that's our job. We are all located in various parts of the city, and we are to represent them. And uh, I, I ditto your comment. Thank you. I'm moving to my left. Dr. Dossel. Yes, I uh, really, what I said earlier, I really do appreciate the staff, the entire team up here, uh, and in a special way, the community. Whenever, you know, uh, they they show up for these meetings, it's very important to, to be heard. Uh, and I do echo my, my colleagues, too, uh, in the sense that, you know, with Commissioner Johnson talking about his son, I've, I've one of the ones that, that have young kids here too. So um, it's part of our duty is to do that. And yes, I've, you know, I've had the conversations with my children because this, what we're doing here is literally for the future of the city. Uh, and certainly it, part of that challenge is, you know, ensuring that that future that we prepare for them is a better situation than we find ourselves in right now. Uh, so that's exciting work. It's work, but it's, you know, it's it's definitely something that is something to look forward to. Uh, and I do want to uh, also invite our community. We have a couple of events coming up here locally in the city. Uh, October is Filipino American History Month. Uh, so October 12th, we do have a celebration 
uh, here at the Carson Event Center uh, for Phil M History Month, and then on October 26th is Larry Ipliang Day celebration, which is a paid holiday for the city. So hopefully the community can join those events. That completes me. Thank you. Thank you very much, Commissioner Huff. Well, I first would like to say good evening to everybody. When you're this far down, everything has been said, thank goodness. But I will say ditto everyone's comments. That's the easiest part. And I'd definitely like to thank both of our senior planners, Alexander and Coleman. You guys did a terrific job with a lot of information. You were brought it to us concisely. You were finished with your part. It was our commission that went on, <laughs> but I'm glad that all points were brought out. Parking is a problem, and as our chair said, it's going to be a problem. We felt it on our street for a long time now, so all you can do is the very best you can and be as neighborly as possible. Uh, I do want to remind everybody that uh, we need to get out to vote. I think I can legally say that. We need to encourage everybody to go vote if they've had any change, any addresses, any anything. They need to fill out another um, application. I really do have some, and if someone needs some, I didn't bring them in in my car, but it is that important. Also, there is a caveat that a child 16 and 17 can pre-register to vote. They do hold those cards over, but it's teaching them the process of democracy, listening to Commissioner uh, Johnson talk about, I don't know how old your child is, but we have to begin teaching them as they're growing up and bringing them to a city council or a city meeting is definitely the first step in finding out what's going on. Um, thank you, everybody. I'm always glad to be here to take part on this commission, and I wish everybody um, happy and a wonderful fall, I guess, that has already arrived. But uh, we're moving to it, and we do have lots of work to look forward to. Thank you very much. I am complete. Thank you, Commissioner Guerra. Thank you, Madam Chair. It's an honor and a privilege to serve with my fellow commissioners and, of course, uh, the wonderful staff that we have here and our legal counsel that keeps us uh, squared away. Um, just, just a quick comment, if I may, too. Is, is there any possibility that they will be building some type of housing on top of the South Bay Pavilion? Uh, that's something that I would like to see happen, and I am complete, Madam Chair. I'll take that under advisement. Uh, Vice Chair Diaz. Yes, good evening, everyone, as well. Uh, again, I think... Uh, I echo the sentiments of my colleagues that uh, we are working well together here. Um, and it's also because of uh, staff's commitment to uh, put together the staff reports and uh, again, dot the I's, cross the T's for us. It's incumbent on us to review all the material beforehand and uh, to visit the sites uh, as they come before us. And um, so I'm happy and pleased that that we're still on this uh, together working on this commission, doing God's work. Um, also, I'd like to make an announcement. Uh, uh, the homeowners, my homeowners association, the Dominguez Lincoln Village, will be hosting a candidate forum for our mayor at large, uh, uh, Lula Davis Holmes, and for District Council Three on the east side of town, Cedric Hicks, the current uh, council member. Uh, I invite my fellow commissioners and uh, staff or city at large to come. It is a very important time. It's it, The date is October 2nd, Wednesday, October 2nd, 7 p.m. at 21156 Santa Fe Avenue uh, in Carson. So um, I'm complete. Thank you so much. Um, also, um, Assistant City Attorney. I'd just like to thank the commissioners for their service. I'm really happy to hear that, you know, that I totally agree with that sentiment, that the importance of the work. The city is very fortunate to have such a great planning commission with commissioners who are dedicated and who care. And also, of course, the staff doing an excellent job. Whenever I don't need to talk much, it means we're doing pretty good. <laughs> thank you. 
Thank you. Uh, I always, you know, I, I, I'm really pleased. I think we have the best commission ever. I really do. Uh, everyone is dedicated to doing the work. Some of us need to read a little bit more of what's in the package so we don't ask questions that are already there. Heads go up and down. Uh, but we appreciate everyone, and we appreciate the sacrifices that are made. And I appreciate Commissioner Johnson for stating that he, he gave up something very, very important to come and do something equally as important and to put us in that category. I think that is awesome. I want to thank uh, Senior Planner McKenna Alexander since our last meeting, uh, and we all know how that went. Uh, she got right on top of it. She made some calls. I have been in several meetings with her and those people since our last meeting to make sure that things would run as smoothly as they did tonight. But even more importantly, I appreciate the dedication of this commission. Look for those things where we can make a difference. It is very, very important. Everything is not, you know, some people may miss something, some people won't, and it doesn't matter who you are, but with all these minds up here, let's make sure that we are doing our work, and you have been doing that, and you're to be commended, but also staff, not but, and also staff is to be commended. I appreciate it. I enjoy the work. I, I, I will, whatever time I need to be here, just let me know. And uh, as long as I've eaten, I'm good. So uh, I will also announce that uh, Saturday, the 5th of October, will be uh, the Carson Jazz Festival, which will take place in Anderson Park. And uh, Anderson Park has gone through uh, a renovation, I'm going to call it, but not in the way that you may think. Uh, I discovered today I had a walkthrough, and I discovered that um, it was really an ADA renovation upgrade. It was not a, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's, you'll see it. Come to the Jazz Festival. But it was really targeting the ADA community to make sure that they can come, enjoy the park, and do so safely with whatever uh, their situation may be. Uh, we have a lot of park updates that are going on, um, and so uh, uh, others will indeed be beautification, but we had a changing of the guards, and so as a result, you know, you got different things happening, but it is coming together. I agree with uh, Commissioner Monteclara. We, we're we growing. We have a lot going on, and I want to thank uh, our, our, our commission manager, Mr. Palmer, for letting us know there are a lot of projects that will be coming, so stay tuned. It's going to be a lot to take a look at. Thank you for that. Uh, it's just a little bit after 8 o'clock. It's a good meeting. Appreciate everybody. Thank you, uh, Gerard. I, you know, because your name is sticking in my head, Gerard. What, what, I'm, Coleman, that's it. I like Gerard, but no, I'm kidding. But nevertheless, thank you, thank you, thank you. And this meeting is officially adjourned. <laughs>